This is a radio station of the SDC Radio Networks. The music of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thanks for listening. I don't know if I own the sun or not, but anyway, that was the Fentons, and that was uh, their song, Who Owns the Sun, from the album of the same name. Why did I pick that? Because our story today is, Who Owns the Sun? Governor Chris Christie. God, I tell you what, I really felt sorry for him. I mean, I don't know, you know, uh, Donald Trump, after for his celebration, was threatening the Speaker of the House. I mean, you know, Paul Ryan, I mean, wow. I mean, you would threaten the Speaker of the House? Whoa. Then, you know, I mean, for a moment there, I thought, you know, President Obama was going to have to be called, you know, sent out SEAL Team 6 to extract 
Governor Christie from the stage because, man, he looked like he was a hostage, didn't he? Ooh, he looked like a hostage. I mean, boy, I mean, he's like, who? Wow, did you make a bad deal or what? I mean, you can't. I didn't make a deal with the devil. Woohoo! Devil went down to Jamaica. Devil went down to Georgia. I don't know, but I mean, what a what a horrible situation. I mean, he looked like his family was taking hostage, and if they didn't pay the money, they weren't gonna let him go. But anyway, whew, it was a rough night. I mean, every you know. Senator Cruz won what he was expected to win. You know, Senator Rubio got what basically he was going to get. Almost. He didn't get what he thought he was going to get. But he did get one. You know, better than Dr. Johnson, who's yet to find his footing anywhere. But, oh, can't complain about none of those things anymore. Can I? Anyway, who owns the sun? That was basically, who owns the sun? I mean, Christy's stealing the spotlight, the sunlight, sucking all the air out of the room and didn't say a word. I mean, his the countenance on his face said more than I ever wanted to see anybody. I mean, I thought it was a holdup or something. I mean, it looked bad. Okay. Well, what's the next one going to talk about? We're going to talk about uh, Aaron Andrews. Benefits from a leaked uh, soft porn tape made by this guy who just decided to pick on her. I mean, this guy's very aggressive with a camera. I mean, I have... Uh, I don't know where he get the nerve to do stuff. He, You know, he was broke. I mean, so you make two and a half million dollars destroying somebody's life destroying somebody's career and then you take that two and a half million dollars and you give it to an attorney to keep you out of jail right but you go to jail anyway and you still have any more money after you get out you know this guy looks whew. I hope he don't have any children because like they say what comes around goes around and boy it ain't no joke you know instant karma is a monster but, what can I say? So anyway, back to the fall, back to uh, the benefits this young lady uh, was supposed to receive uh, because of this leaked uh, video. She's, uh, uh, she, she got uh, a lot of major endorsements, okay? No, since the leak. You know, but she's still crying and she's still all upset, you know. And it goes to show you, money ain't gonna never make you happy. You know, if you've been violated, you know, you're, you're just, you're just all there. Here's a lady that didn't want any fame because of that. Who was basically already famous. I mean, let's, let's call it what it is. She was already famous, okay. And I guess that's kind of why I picked on her, but. It is tragedy. But anyway, the RNC is uh, going to be trying to stop the Trump train. It's going to be hard. It's like you got to assassinate your own child. Right? If this is the days of Saul. Solomon and Saul, I think? Who was that had to go up to the mountain? sacrifice his kid because somebody told him to sacrifice his child his only child right and as the altar was being laid hint hint uh, they were already planning to assassinate you know his own kid and basically, he was only stopped by the hand of God from killing his son on an altar. What God do I know would make you sacrifice your own child? What God do I know that actually make you do things like that? 
Keep for your own children. Whoa. Lord help me, please. Anyway, Ted Cruz, hey, he got what he wanted, right? He gets everything he likes. But anyway, self-identification time. It's Kenny Smith, and you're listening to Smith Bits. Rant and Rave Talk Radio, and we talk about everything and nothing. All right. Mostly nothing. You know, I'm just happy that you get a chance to enjoy me. And hear me every once in a while. As I sit back and do nothing with my stupid little retired self. But anyway, I make noise and I love it. Okay. What else we got going on? Uh, North Carolina Postal... Post office people, well, pardon me, is the the Alabama representative uh, Mo Brooks. Uh, he uh, voted no against Maya Angelou uh, getting on a, a federal stamp because he said Maya Angelou was a communist sympathizer. Okay, a little commie, huh? All right, what can we say about that? Well, oh yeah, Mitty, this is Mitt Romney's company, right? Sports Authority uh, is filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and plans to get rid of nearly a third of its stores. The retailer said Wednesday that it's planned to close or sell about 140 stores and two distribution centers. One each in Denver and Chicago. The Pacific stores to be closed or sold will be determined as part of the Chapter 11 process, a spokesman told the Los Angeles Times. But there's not enough snow in the Colorado Rockies now? Wow, that's a lot of people. A lot of people. Oh, let's see. What's happening in Inglewood, Colorado? Oh, still same story. Hey, did you realize that Puerto Rico, that there's a mass migration from the United States to Puerto Rico? This is like an inland transfer. Uh, last year, Puerto Rico defaulted on, I don't know, $200 billion or... 128 million, some number, some crazy number that they owed it twice, plus the taxes. They defaulted to the government, the United States government, and defaulted to some other governments. And uh, now they've got to come up with all this money. All right. And everybody, and these creditors are really, you know, they're really pushing them to their backs against the wall. But what's happening is that. Of course, when that happens, you got to start raising taxes on properties and stuff. Well, most of the natives of Puerto Rico are moving to the United States, okay, in droves. They're just abandoning their homes. Some of them are just abandoning their homes. Some are selling. I mean, they're selling them cheap. Remember now, at least within a mile within the country all the way around, it's all beach property. You know, then you know, then they got the super telescopes and all kind of stuff. You know, that's there. I mean, it's really a grand country. It's going to be really, really more Americanized. But a lot of Americans are moving there. They're basically taking over the country. Now, why do we say that and what happens? Well, first of all, it is a possession. And the other thing is that we would love to make that place a uh, 51st, 52nd. Uh, state in the United States? Eh, you gotta occupy the place before you can vote, huh? Hmm. So anyway, maybe in our lifetime, huh? I mean, hey, we saw Cuba open up, and the president's gonna go down to Cuba, and he's gonna throw the first pitch for baseball. This is gonna be interesting. This is really becoming a long way. Oh, let's see what's happening. Oh, yeah, another one. Zoe Saldana, my favorite actress of Star Trek. Uh, you know, she's playing uh, Nina Simone. And uh, they finally released their first trailers. 
and uh, it's absolutely going to be crazy. Matter of fact, you can go to Netflix, and there's uh, just type in Nina Simone, and her daughter uh, did a biography of her, a videography, I should say. Well done, really well done. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the picture's going to go a lot more crazier than this. But it's been a while, I guess, since they decided to do that that film, and it just finally fell into place. So it's going to be out. Uh, let's see what else we got. Brazil. Brazil's still confirming there's more of the microcephalus. Uh, the micro I should say that. Hey, the micro, okay? the That thing, that disease, that bug. Anyway, the, the birth rates are... Uh, there's more of these babies being born. I mean, I guess it has doubled in the past couple months. They've got a real problem. And this thing is not going away. This disease is being spread by this little mosquito. And he's wreaking havoc. I mean, somehow they can't stop this bad boy. So, I mean, if our people are going to go to... Whew. I don't know. I don't think I want our people down there in in Brazil at all. Rio? Um, you know, where Sao Paulo? I don't know. Take it at your own risk. Go for it. But I'm not happy about it at all. But that's me. You know, I'm an old man. What do I know? Okay, let's see. The president, I already said he's going to Cuba to throw the first pitch. And this year, he's also going to be making an appearance at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. And that's going to be good. You know, you're going to really bring up the attendance record. It's going to be really exciting. And I guess that's all I got to say for today. I'm glad that you were with me. And I'm wonderfully happy that I gave you some entertainment. Some entertaining thoughts to think about. And hey, if not, glad that you tuned in anyway. It's been your host, Kenny Smith. And you've been listening to Smith Bits Talk Radio. Okay. This is a radio station of the SDC Radio Networks. The music of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thanks for listening.